Don't Turn. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Queers and Soaps. I am joined by my handsome co-host, Eric. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Um, <laughs> this afternoon, or whenever you're watching, this will be covering As the World Turns, January 20th to the 29th, with some gaps in between. Roll the credits. All right. So like we said, there are some gaps. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it was kind of easy to follow. Yeah, it was. It really was. This week. This week was. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started with the first episode, January 20th. Um, I just watched this this morning. <laughs> <laughs> so you should be fresh. <laughs> so I should be fresh. But for some reason, I'm drawing a blank. So can you help me out a little bit? <laughs> of course. <laughs> um. Brian uh, Brian calls for Shannon. Yes. Um, Harriet's with her. She's hiding from him. This is ridiculous. Like, yeah. Does she ever? Does she ever love him? I'm so confused. I, like, well, I don't even. I don't even know. I don't even know if they were together before this. Uh, like I she. They, the book. She, she dumped them on their wedding day and just Ooh. ran away. Said you belong she with. Away. Just, went out, with, just went to Edinburgh. That's it. <laughs> Right, like, what's up? No wonder why Brian's pissed, dude. He's like yelling at her all the time. Yeah. <clears throat> um. And oh yeah, so she's avoiding his call. This is a, it starts with her avoiding his call. Harriet's on the phone with um. She's like, here, I'll deal with your own business. Tries to hand him the phone. He's he's like, uh, no, or she's like, no, and then she like r runs away. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else happens with that? Harriet, Harriet talks to Beatrice. Mm -hmm. um, Brian says he's heading to Edinburgh. So Shannon's like, she finds out. Who she find out from? I forget. She finds out from somebody. Um, and then she's like, oh, well, I got to go. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I remember Harriet saying to Beatrice, like, oh, it wasn't my fault that Shannon knew that you two were, you know, that you love Brian. Now Shannon figured it out herself. So. Yeah, I don't understand. And he, that's all he's talking about is Shannon. So clearly this man loves Shannon and not Beatrice. Yeah, but like I, yeah, but then he, but then the way that he looked at, well, did he really look at her the, longingly? Excuse me. The way that, the way that um, Shannon was saying when they walked down the aisle. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't know. Maybe that, was in the, maybe that was in the episode before we started even watching all this. Like this, but, it was like but you stay. In, but you stay in the deal with your business. You don't just like take mm -hmm. off and like leave a man hanging and tell him he's in love with somebody else. And I don't see that much like excitement about Beatrice. Like she's. But so uh, yeah. But it just. See, it, I don't know. She just doesn't seem like she's that. Like, and this is Douglas Marlin we're talking about. Like he's. He's written some great characters, but I, I think one of them is, I think they're, I think this one's kind of falling flat a little bit. With Beatrice. Yeah. And she doesn't yeah, stay on the show for long, according to the book. Uh, she's just there. She's just like, I'm off the island. I'm out of the, like, I feel like she's almost like special in a way. Like, yeah, like she just needs, like. Did they just box her in that castle and protect her like her whole life? Like, did she have a career? Anything? <laughs> I wonder. I like, know. I wonder. Like, I, I want to. I want to know why she's sort of boxed off there. Like, is it something that Duncan doesn't want her to know or anything like that? Right, and they don't want her to go to Scotland back to where she wants yeah. to go. Remember? <laughs> I don't understand. And then, like, in these episodes, she, I think we find out that Suzanne died because of the letter or some information that she knew mm -hmm. about James, I think. It was James. I think he went under, like, Lester or something. Lester, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we find out that she knew something. And then, so now Duncan really thinks, like, James killed Beatrice. No, and no, no. I don't. Suzanne, Suzanne. But, Oh, Suzanne, right. Yeah, but I wish she would kill Beatrice. Oh, after Beatrice. Yeah, the last episode. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. It's really weird, and I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lucinda's on a good amount. She and uh, she, she and John have like this confrontation. He's like, because I think she's with Lansing, the guy that he wants her to stay away from, and he's like, I think like. You wanted you were supposed to stay away from him, and I'm supposed to stay away from Lily. Like I thought we had an understanding. Yeah. <laughs> because he he they're blackmailing each other. Um, Tonio was weird in these episodes. He had a fantasy about Meg. Um, I don't know if he's like obsessed with her. It almost seems like he is. Yeah. The way they're portraying it. That too. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking yeah, I'm thinking he's I'm thinking he's obsessed with Meg. Um. Yeah, it's and like the Who also was lying about her virginity. I forgot. I didn't realize that. Yeah, I didn't either. Because she's yeah, like dusty. In uh, right. New Mexico, that was what the secret was. And when was this New Mexico trip? Was it before we? Because I don't Probably remember them mentioning it. Probably before. Okay. We started, yeah. Because that's what I was saying. Like the first week or two, like we watched it, we didn't hear anything about it, and then we heard about it, and then we're like, "Did we miss it in that one episode we missed?" And I'm like, they couldn't possibly go to New Mexico and back in like one episode. No, so no, it had no, to be. No. They, they, they tend to milk things like that, like to like. Yeah. The story. I wonder, that, I wonder if that was now since Lily and Meg and Holden and Dusty are all teens. I wonder if that was the summer teen story for the previous year. Mm, you're probably right. That's so why I'm are they thinking. dwelling about it now? <laughs> I guess the repercussions are still around yeah, six months later. Yep. <laughs> All right. Um, so, yeah, so we had um, Emma confronted Meg about sleeping with Dusty in New Mexico. Um, Tonio ends up going there. Um, he was listening at the door waiting for Emma to leave, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, Emma didn't do too much in these episodes, I feel. Just no, so like the press. Um, yeah, yeah. That was a nice conversation. Yeah, at some point. Yeah, which I really like that. I really like how, like, mm-hmm. how she talks to Holden. Oh, it was about, um, he said, he was saying stuff like, I was just a stable boy. I was like, she, that she was like, like, you did that to support our family. Like, what's the issue? Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was nice. Um, I put James wants McNeil to do anything to stop Duncan from bringing some kind of note back to the States. Was it the note he was talking about? I didn't really catch that. Who was it, James? James. He, remember, he like was, was talking to McNeil. Had? Was it the note? That's what yeah, I thought. But I, Duncan had, yeah. So I guess because that note can, you know, prove that maybe he did it, but maybe mm-hmm. I don't know if he did. I don't know if we're supposed to know if he did or not know if he did. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> we might never find out. Well, actually, we have to read our book because we don't have the month yeah, of February. <laughs> we'll have a whole month after this. So. Yeah, and I looked. I, I looked hard for it, and I even looked for, like, like, um, like, I looked to read up online and stuff. I didn't see anything for February of 87, so I guess it was just, like, Nobody recorded it. Nobody watched it. I don't know. Mm. And he has the World Turns fans out there. Let us know, please. <laughs> what happened in February 1987 that leads up to the March one that we got to watch next? <laughs> yeah. Um, I have Emily is avoiding James. She's cutting him off, basically. He's like up her ass. He's kind of obsessive with her. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and I think, doesn't Barbara warn her like about him, too? She's like, listen, you know, don't mess with him. But yeah. she is avoiding him, so... Like, She's trying. <laughs> but again, I don't know Emily yet. I don't know if she's a schemer. I don't know, you know, I don't know her situation. Um I wonder if the, in these episodes she's not much of a schemer, but then once Melanie Smith takes over, they kind of pivot that way. Do they? Because this is not Melanie Smith in, as Emily yet. Um Betsy mentions to Craig that I think Emily had the um, stolen coin, or like had it and had it stolen from her when they said nobody, nothing was stolen from whatever. So, and it, and he th- thinks it's Falcon related with this Falcon drug scheme, which I don't know. Again, I don't know if this is the fallout from it, or we just don't know. Maybe they 
arrested some of the people and still this drug lord is out there somewhere mm-hmm. who was running the show. And what is this coin? What is with this coin? <laughs> I still don't know. I don't think we found uh, out. Like, I'm guessing it's just worth a lot of money. I'm sure it is. Like it, what, like what, what, what? How they describe the coin? It was like a. Um, oh my gosh! How did they state? They, they it was. It, it's an old Scottish coin, is what old they Scottish said. Coin, thank you. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, but. Uh, are old Scott? Is there any Scottish people out there? <laughs> coins are old and worth something. I don't, <laughs> I don't think we have any coins that are worth anything, right? I'm not sure. Maybe. I wonder if, like, maybe, like, maybe, like, old pennies, but like, not that. I don't think there's a coin that costs that. Much. Like an ori- yeah, like an original penny. Like an original. I guess penny that could be put, like the Franklin Mint, Mint or something. <laughs> yeah. I know. Is there any coin collectors anymore? Is that, is that a thing? I remember that was, that was a thing, like, back, in, that was back thing. when I was young. Now I don't see coins anywhere, but I remember seeing coins well, around. 50 cent pieces. Well, I wonder if they're... <laughs> yeah, we used to collect them. And $2 bills. Yep. <laughs> so Craig wants to go to the police about the missing coin. He goes to Margo, tells her about it. Mm-hmm. Um... Shannon goes to uh, in the meantime, Shannon goes to Duncan. They're they almost kiss, so they're like bonding, getting close. And I guess Duncan isn't serious with Barbara. No. <laughs> it doesn't so. seem like it. So I guess he's just just she's just keeping the bed warm. <laughs> I wonder if it's the eighties version of like a friend with benefits situation. Mm-hmm. It seems like it. Just like Lucinda and James, kind of. Well, I think I don't know what Lucinda wants with James. I really don't. I don't know. I don't know if she's using him or if she actually really likes him, or she's just or keeping him close. close. <laughs> or yeah, it could be both. And like keeping your enemy closer, like maybe knowing that because everybody's going to her like, "Lady, get it together." And Lucinda doesn't see. And is there anybody out there named Lucinda? <laughs> so I I'm, I was thinking about this just, just before we started talking. I'm like, I just I, thought about that. You know what? I had a classmate named Lucinda in um in high school. I think. Wonder if she was named after Lucinda. No, I that, guess not. She no, would have no, been. No. That, no, that would attract because if they were born in '86 or '87 or Ooh. yeah, if they were born '85 or '86 or '87, that would that would track. That's cool. Yeah, maybe she was. Because I think she she came Lucinda came in eighty four, right? I think. Yeah. Okay, was it eighty four? Because I do remember I couldn't remember what year because I watched like I think I don't even know, seventy nine to eighty four, maybe some eighty five, I can't remember. Um <clears throat> Brian wants Beatrice to stay in Oakdale. Um, I guess She's maybe she's safer there than being on the island. But James I don't know. Is out there. That's a thing. <laughs> it, it, is James on the island too? Like he's no, back no, and no. forth. He, she comes into Oakdale. Oh, in Oakdale. Like, comes into yeah. Oakdale. So, like, if he's trying to keep her safe and James is out there, like, that yeah, yeah. And then he walks in on James, like, threatening her at some point in this one, right? In one of these episodes. Um. Uh, oh yeah, James made us like said something along the lines of like it's funny that he saved Margot, and her husband's going to be like the prosecuting attorney like for him, and I forget what else he said, and that John's trying to get him fired, so like he's like everybody in Margot's life is against him, <laughs> and like he just <laughs> saved this woman. Yeah, whatever. Don't be bad guy. <laughs> that's, what, that's the answer to that. Mm-hmm. Um, I have Tonya that comes on strong again to Meg, and he kisses her. I don't know if she's playing hard to get, like you said. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. Yeah. Meg seems like a little shithead. She is. <laughs> <laughs> she really does. Um, which is good. It's interesting, at least. Mm-hmm. Um, I like her. Yep. Me too. Uh, Harriet has a talk to Shannon, and she's like, you gotta stop running away. Like, get it together, girl. I don't know why Harriet is. Just tie that woman down. Just like, you know? <laughs> Whatever. Um, Margo talks to John about the coin. 
they don't have enough evidence to take James down. Mm -hmm. They want to take him down, but I guess you need a lot. Or mm -hmm. kill him again. One or the other. Um, James tells Lucinda how much she means to him, and I'm guessing that she does. I mean, he, clearly he's playing her. But she thinks about that again later. And I'm like, maybe she is falling for James, because why would you think about that? Line? Yeah. I don't know. I'm just, I just don't want, I like how strong Lucinda is, mm -hmm. and I don't want her to fall for this man. You know, like, I, just, I, just, I want yeah. her to get him before <laughs> she, he gets her. Uh -huh. I have a bad feeling it ain't going to go that way. <clears throat> um, Margo questions Emily about the coin. And then Emily gets all mad because she wasn't going to tell anybody. And why? What is she like? Uh, I don't understand. Like, why wouldn't you tell them? Like, I thought Margaret was like the trusted person in town. I don't know. Lila and Casey are on. This was really weird. I think they were in like this one scene, and they're like making out on the sofa, and they find chicken in the sofa. <laughs> what chicken <laughs> underneath? <laughs> yeah, they. Like, but they had a whole like it was like a whole like plate, you know, the sectional <laughs> plates. And they... I'm like, what? I don't know what the point of that was because I feel like that's their only scene in that in this episode. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, the song that was playing in the background, I remember hearing it on like um what was it? Oh my gosh, was it like was it WJJZ? To like, oh, really? like their night shows, like their evening shows and stuff like that. Oh, like that's so funny. Sax. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did remember a song playing in this later on. I'll point it out. Um, I think it was this series. Um, we have uh, Meg's at the bar, like trying to get a drink or something. And we have the bar guy, Mike, um, asks her out on a date. Antonio seems jealous. And gets all mad. Mm -hmm. um, and she's like, she gets mad at that and storms off and says, don't call me again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. Is she playing them? I, 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 think don't, she's, know. I don't even know. I don't know. Um, I Barbara she's wants still flipping with the fact because of the fact that they're still married, that he's still married to Sierra, even though they're separated. And then she's also using him because, you know, Meg is like the Meg is like that. And <laughs> well, yeah, I got to find out more. Um, oh, and I have, I mean, hold on. there was somebody with Betsy and Craig and I didn't know who it was. There was a lady with them. They were talking. Uh, I wanted to see if you know, but you have to, it's only like one scene. Yeah. I didn't write what they were talking about, but I didn't know who that lady was. I don't know if she's like a regular or what. Um, oh yeah, Beatrice or Duncan. Wait, hold on. Beatrice calls Duncan about Sh um, Brian and Shannon. Doesn't want Brian to leave her and to stay away from James. And James is there. Mm -hmm. Ask about Duncan. Brian scares him off. She tells him Shannon left Edinburgh or was leaving Edinburgh. Okay, so that's how he found out. <laughs> okay. I knew there was something. Um, Emily says she knows nothing about the coin. James calls her and they say that Rick Ryan stole the coin. That Rick, except I don't think he did. Yeah, I'm confused. I don't know where this coin is. Is whoever has the coin the killer? Like, I don't know. I don't know what we're supposed to get out of this. Yeah. And and what does that have to do with the Falcon? There's so many questions. And I feel like February, everything's going to happen. And we know nothing. Everything's going to be answered. <laughs> and we're just going to miss it. <laughs> we're honestly going to have to read our books, like, to uh, get what happened in February, I guess, if anything major happened. Yeah. All right. So we're on January 21st. I have Miranda, the housekeeper, um, and Duncan talk. Um, she put, she misses him. Beatrice calls, may have proof Lester is James. I don't remember what that's about. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Emily confronts Betsy about the coin. This coin is everything. Mm -hmm. 
We don't see this damn coin. Um, James goes to Rick about the coin. <laughs> <laughs> I want to at least see the coin. Can we see who has it? Let's hold it up for us so we can it's see. It's a big, it's a small, it's a medium <laughs> size. <laughs> is it like, is yeah, it like a collector? <laughs> I know. Is it like a big coin, like collector piece? I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, now John kicks him out. James brings up Lansing. Emma comes by to find Meg. John tries to talk. Um, and she can't talk. She doesn't want to or whatever. John asks Rick if he heard from Howard. Where's Howard? He just got on a plane and rolled. Oh, we see him later. Mm hmm This is crazy. I don't... Uh, how is Howard... How is all this connected? Like, like, the Queen and the Falcon and all, and now Howard is in London, right? How is it all connected? Is it like in a big umbrella storyline? That... Um, oh, yeah. I forgot about umbrella storylines. Yeah, I'm wondering if this is an umbrella storyline. It seems like it because now all of like John, Lucinda, and all that would be involved in that because they're all dealing with Howard and he disappeared on them. <clears throat> I don't know what's happening. Howard's in the thick of things. Like, if he don't end up dead, I'd be shocked. Like, very soon. Um, John asks Rick if he has heard from Howard. Betsy and Emily talk about her telling Craig about the coin. She blames her mom and leaves. <laughs> <laughs> My mom's fault. I will only see her mom come back in this one. This yeah, uh, Susan. It's this episode. Yeah. I love Susan. Especially yeah, I don't, Tim. Yeah, I don't know her back then too much. Um, I knew the you know, the Susan from 2007 to the end, but is it the same Susan? It's the same one, yeah. She played her for many years, yeah. On and off. She looks really years. different. Although yeah, it's hard uh, to see because it's a little grainy, but like. Yeah, it's a Marie Masters. Yeah. Not the for the show. Not as like a head writer, but like I think it's like one of the smaller, one of like the breakdown writers or uh, one of those writers. Right. Beatrice tells Duncan um, about a dream she had. I wonder if it means anything. Duncan goes off on Barbara about Shannon and hangs up on her. Hmm. Lisa and Earl are ready for their honeymoon. They're saying bye to everybody. Um, they don't really do too much. I guess they're just getting ready to... I don't know where they're going first. I guess Edinburgh? I'm not positive. <laughs> Edinburgh. Because <laughs> that's where everything's going <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's either going or leaving from. <laughs> um, uh, what do I, Tonio tells. Oh, I don't know what that means. Uh, oh, Tonio tells Lucinda Holden should work with James because Tonio doesn't want to work with Holden. I guess he's. He doesn't trust them. I don't. I don't know what's happening with that. I think he said he didn't trust. No, did he? Did they say he didn't trust Holden. I, I guess I'm, not, because he, he's because I think I think Lucinda wanted Holden to work with Tonya, but he's like, no, he should work with James because you know he didn't want to deal with him. Because mm -hmm. James says he should work with Tonya. <laughs> They're like trying to bond. With, I I feel like the, they're both up to no good, and they don't <laughs> want Holden with them. Is basically what I'm thinking. Yeah, because remember um, Holden. Well, I mean, remember Holden was the one who pointed out like the, the loophole in the claw, like the a missing page or something with the contract. Right. So, so now they're like afraid. If he's that, if he's that uh, stood on attention to detail, what do you think is going to happen when he's with James or Holt or sorry, so, James or Tonio? He's so Tony, it's a, Tony is safety too, right? Huh. Tonio is shasty too, right? Yep. That's what I'm getting from this stuff. Um, was I? Tom finds out he has to go to Washington in two days. I kept thinking, like, I thought he'd be in Washington by now. They always talk about it forever, and then it's like, oh, here it is. Now it's time. He didn't I'm even, good... like, he didn't even <laughs> like, accept the offer for a good, like, while. Yeah, right? Whatever. I know me Emma if goes, I was being offered somewhere to go somewhere, I'd be like, 
Yes, immediately, yes. Yeah, like if you're trying to get away, but I guess he, you know, he's tied to Margo and yeah, he's tied to Margo. Yeah, many issues going on. I personally feel like he should have kind of stayed with Margo. Yeah, but, but Greg Marks didn't want to stay, so <laughs> right storyline dictation <laughs> says otherwise. Yeah, so and I um, guess they and I guess they want to kind of give him more of a rift, so then you know they can have more story when you yeah, know the other one comes back. Yeah, and then also I found out. That um, is apparently uh, they the, the character of Tom will be off for six months, but they're doing that oh. so that way they can convince Greg Marks to come back as Tom. Okay. And then when he ultimately said no, that's when Scott Holmes comes in. Wow, is that what happened? Yep, that's what happened. So he's going to be off for a while. Around the time, wow. maybe like July, he that's when Scott Holmes, July, well, August, that- will be. Yeah. And this is why Margo's gonna go with Hal. Like you were telling me. <laughs> you said that <laughs> she you didn't know if she was with Hal yet. And I'm like, well, the six months well she'll be with Hal, I'm sure. Yeah. Um <clears throat> Emma goes off on Meg for lying. Um because I guess she's just a liar, liar, pants on fire. She is. <laughs> Barbara tells James oh, oh Barbara tells James Paul isn't going anywhere with him. He's trying to get him to like go just do stuff still, and she's like done with him because she just isn't trusting him. She knows something's not right. Mm-hmm. Um, and to leave Emily alone. Lucinda says Barbara makes her a lot of money to Tony now. And I put, what does she do? What does Barbara? Oh, do? she's a, um, I think she's a fashion designer. Is she? Fashions is her the the store that she goes the store that they're at the clothing store. Okay, I think that's her. I think that's Barbara's store. Oh, uh, okay. I didn't know yeah. what she did. That's why I was like, I, I she always. Designer. Um. Okay. Because I, I was wondering. Was, I, I, I had no idea. Were, I don't know if you were. I don't know if that if two thousand seven they were still doing the fashion stuff, but like mm-hmm. her, big, one of her biggest rivals was Carly. So. <laughs> oh really? Who also was like who also was an aspiring fashion designer. Oh, uh, okay. And she doesn't come on until the 90s, right? Yeah, the mid, like the mid-late 90s. Mm-hmm. And now, part two of As the World Turns. I have Duncan feels that someone is watching him or something. Somebody's watching somebody. Oh, no, he's, he feels like he's being watched, like somebody's there. And he tells this to this man, Charles. Mm-hmm. His, uh, I guess, sidekick man. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, Beatrice, Beatrice, and Emily see a shrink. Her name's Lynn Michaels. Is she like a regular? Do you know? She's yeah. She's, she's like, like the, um, like the show's medical <clears throat> advisor, I think. And who also doubles oh, okay. as like uh, also doubles as like a character. <laughs> Interesting. Um, Betsy is disturbed by a letter she got from Steve. I don't know if we find out what's on the letter. I don't think she talks about it with anybody. Wait, is it in the? I wonder if it's in the skipped episode. <laughs> it could have been. Um, Tony and James talk. James wants to buy Tony's shares in Lucinda's company. Threatens mm-hmm. to tell them Lucinda about him and Meg. I don't know why would Lucinda care about him and Meg. Do you know? Uh, wait about uh, Holden and Meg, or no, not Holden and Meg, or who was the other character? Antonio. I have Tonio shares. Oh, oh, Tonio. I, th- I yeah. think it's one of those situations where like Tonio works for Lucinda. Lucinda's kind of micromanaging. So, so when I want him to be with Meg. Or is Meg too young? Or, yeah, but then it's also, I mean, I would say, also say it's kind of too close for comfort because Meg is enemies with Lily. Mm-hmm. And that, that whole thing, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm also thinking that's like because he works with, and then she's cool with the Snyders. So, right. and, oh no, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There is a reason. Tonio is married to her daughter, who is Sierra. Um, there we go. Okay. <laughs> there you go. I, for, I keep forgetting that they are related. That way. Right. Yeah, because they're hardly in scenes together, Tonya. So I guess they're yeah. like separated at this point, I'm assuming. 
I don't, they seem separated because they're never in scenes together. <laughs> yeah. I, I always forget Sierra too because she's hardly on. I feel like she's on like yeah. once yeah. randomly. Um, and then this episode ends with Duncan finds this box in some, I don't even know where he's at, in some yeah, attic. attic <laughs> um, and he gets trapped in there and there's smoke. There's smoke. The end. Touches and then we're missing. Novel not supposed to do from safety class. <laughs> and then yeah and the next uh, we're missing january 22nd so yeah, in the 20th entire episode sure. bit. <laughs> i know i'm like man apparently there was a fire, <laughs> was a fire. <laughs> which i guess makes sense because somebody was watching them they probably set the place on fire um emily's trying to hold james off still she says that she has a date with holden um to get rid of him. And it doesn't work really. I feel like he's just like. He knows it's like what she's doing. Um, Duncan's in the fire. Shannon goes to see him. Um, I have. This is oh, Franny and all this stuff comes back too. Which this shit's crazy. Um, what is this man's name? Mr. Penale? I got. Like <laughs> Mr. Penale calls Franny. About something strange. Um, I put Lucas Farewell. Lucas Farewell. Oh, was that his name? Farewell? Oh, yeah. Lucas Farewell yes, came by yeah. asking about Sabrina. Hasn't seen her since she was 14. All of the Sabrina shit is crazy to me. Like, I don't even know what's happening. People are dying. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what is that with Sabrina? <laughs> what is happening? And then we're going to miss the whole month of February. What is, what? Um, we're, whatever. Um, Holden and Emily get to the bar. They have drinks. Um, I put what? I put to hold off Rick Ryan. Really, James? I don't know what that means. <laughs> My notes are crazy. <laughs> um, so I guess Rick Ryan's around. I guess James is there. I don't know. Everybody seems to be at this place. If not, if they're not in England. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Lucinda and uh, is that the place? I think it's Mona Lisa, which is I Mona think Lisa. Club. Lisa's place. Yep. Um, that's the place on Days of Our Lives. <laughs> right. Lucinda and Ambrose get there. Ambrose is her right hand man. He's mm -hmm. fun. I like him. I think also he's um, like the Butler too. Later on, James is there as well. Duncan and Shannon are still very flirty. Barbara shows up. When Shannon leaves, I have Scott and Iva are out. Everybody's out. In this Everybody's episode. out. It's it's a night of the town. <laughs> I always like these episodes. They do that a lot. Yeah. They used to do it more in like every soap. Like if one couple goes out, everybody's at the same place and all that stuff. I like that. Um, it's almost like they built a set for just the day and <laughs> everybody <laughs> there and then break it down. Um. I feel like Scott and I were in it, but they didn't do much in this one. Um, Andy calls Kim, who's in London still, getting ready to leave, I think. I don't know if anybody's going to end up leaving London after what's happening there. I know, right? Um, the dude, I put dude is reading about Sabrina. Someone comes to the door and kills him. Martin. And his eyes are open when he dies. Yeah. Yeah. That's freaky. I know that happens when you die, but like, geez, I didn't know that, that, that you could do that on TV in the eighties. <laughs> yeah, this this shit's creeping me out, and it sucks because I really want to see more stuff like with this, but we won't. <laughs> I wonder where March is going to pick up. Like, we're probably going to be so clueless. I mean, you'll have more of a clue than I do, but yeah. <laughs> um, Barbara tells Duncan that James has an airtight alibi for. The stolen coin. Here we go. Here we go with the coin again. <laughs> James tells Lucinda not to trust Holden. Because, you know, Holden's a good guy and <laughs> gotta hold back the good guy from seeing the, the evil. Um, we have a killer pages the killer that the guy that killed Marsden is paging through the book. And that music was the Nightmare on Elm Street music. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you watch Nightmare on Elm Street? A long time ago. I have I only remember Okay, it's I, I, it, like, not the... 
that was like one of my first five VHS tapes in the eighties. So <laughs> I'm very familiar. And yeah, the music was like the music in that movie. And I thought that was so funny. I'm like, wow, they use like the whole, like, I wonder how they got the rights to that. Um, and then we see Peter's dead yeah, body. I was uh, off to figure out to figure that because I was like, Proctor and Gamble have to be connected with that somehow. <laughs> yeah, right. Because Elm Street was eighty four, so. But it was cool though to, to hear that. Emma tells Holden um, to be confident with who he is. That's that conversation that we talked about. That was nice. Mm-hmm. Um, Lucinda and James. <laughs> Lucinda and James continue banging. (laughs) 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 Um, Duncan wants to go home with Barbara. Shannon sees she is there and leaves. Um, What? I put, we see London streets. Oh, I guess they shot. Yeah, that was when um, Franny, Seth, uh, Bob and Kim were out where they were like just roaming the streets yeah i guess they had to get their money's worth we're really in london we're really in london <laughs> that's what um, i have like that you know, where it's like where you see like the building and then you still they look like ants <laughs> yeah um bob and kim go to a pub jocelyn arrives at peter's i uh, put someone answers it's howard <laughs> Wasn't that the same scene with Bob and Kim in the uh like the tea shop uh where Sabrina peeks her head in through the window? Was that the next? Oh, episode? did that? I might have missed that. I don't know. Yeah, Sabrina peeks her head through the window. Oh, uh, maybe I missed that. I mean, I have like was writing my notes or something, and I looked down. Damn. Well. So yeah, I guess really something happened, was around. I was like, wait, red hair. And then I rewound it. And I saw, that's when I saw it. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, I guess she's around. And, like, I don't know. And people are dying over this. Like, what is going on? I and what does it have to, does it have to do with this coin? This mm. <clears throat> I don't know. Um, we get into January 26th. Margo and Tom talk about Kim and um, Bob and Kim are coming home. They're getting ready. So, I guess they'll come home in February. <laughs> we don't have. Um, Jocelyn has a memory of Marsden. Um, oh, that Marsden isn't close with his aunt, his aunt Mona, or something. And I guess it's because he says that he is close. Like he says something, and it triggers her. She's a smart lady, this Jocelyn. It's a shame she don't last long. <laughs> yeah. Um. Howard said that they were close or whatever. She also remembers saying Marsden had glasses and he didn't have glasses. So you're like, oh, this might not end well. But again, I didn't know where the story was going and it's crazy. Um, Nancy calls because I guess she's in London with that gang. Mm-hmm. Tom talks to her. Um, they're having a going away party. They won't make it home in time. Jessica comes by. Margot invites her. Jessica. Jessica. <laughs> That's, yeah, I don't remember seeing her in the other one, so she must have been in the very, like, very short minute or less. Yeah, she was She was in there for a good, like, 30 seconds the last. The yeah. Last she's, she's, she's involved now, though. She's getting more involved. I like it. I like it. Because I like that actress, Tamara Tooney. Mm-hmm. If anyone didn't see that Whitney movie, watch it. It's on. I think it was on Netflix last I saw. It's a good movie, and she kills it she really as her does. mom. I think she's Sissy Houston um, in that. And she's a mom <clears> and, too. And I believe she was nominated for an Oscar. I believe I gotta look that up, but I'm pretty sure. I think that like nobody hardly re- recognized that Whitney movie for like Oscars, but she was the only one nominated for it. I think. Yes. Uh, I yeah, she was really good. Watch that movie. That's your homework. We'll talk to you about it next week. (laughs) Watch Whitney. It's really good. It's really well done. Um, Do you know the name of it before we go? Before we, I think it's just called Whitney. It's just called Whitney. Okay, I'm gonna. I think so. I'm gonna see if it's if I have the streaming service that it's on. (laughs) It's good, and the actress that plays her, I think, is British, 
I never would have guessed. I thought she did a killer job. Or maybe Australian, I forget. But I knew she was like involved in Doctor Who, this lady that plays Whitney. I think she oh, was, cool. I forget. Yeah, I don't watch Doctor Who, but I just, then I looked her up because I was like, she was really good. And I also wanted to know if she did her own singing. Like I thought, I thought it was Whitney, but like I wasn't positive, you know, because you never, they look so real. Like when you watch these movies, like it looks like she's singing. But so she did sing like the younger Whitney stuff. But like, you know, the, the songs that we know and love, she, um, you know, they had Whitney dub, you know, Whitney's voice. Yeah, like, of course. Yeah. <laughs> but it was really well done. It's a great movie. Anywho, um, oh, I have Dusty and Meg are talking. A girl comes by. Meg. God, what is that word? <laughs> <laughs> Meg something. Oh, oh my God. And then she, that's, that's a girl with the puffy hair, right? The real big hair. Yeah, I was trying to get her name, but I don't, I guess I didn't get it. I wonder if it was Monica, that Monica Lawrence they keep talking about. Oh, but you no, might be right. her name is Sage. Her name is Sage. Sage, because I remember yes. Because I remember thinking they named Carly's daughter at, uh, Sage later on in the series. Oh, really? Yep, so that's like, I oh, that's hard that. to get Sage, yep. Okay. So I have, yeah, like Meg talks shit about Lily or whatever. Um, she always does. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I don't know what else I wrote here. Holden and Lily chat. He gives her a watch. Was it a watch or a bracelet? Oh, I couldn't make it out. <laughs> he gave her something. Lucinda comes by. Um, Form of jewelry. Yeah, some kind of jewelry. Whether she um, she could tell the time or not. <laughs> um, Holden and Lily are going to a party. Lucinda mentions Holden being out with Emily. Mm -hmm. Causing that drama. James goes to Emily. She tries to get rid of him. He's obsessed. <laughs> she threatens to call the police. So I guess she's over him. She's probably yeah. just like, he's no good for her and just trying to get rid of him. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this isn't going to go well <laughs> for James. Yeah. Um, Sabrina has a memory of a nanny singing. <laughs> of a nanny singing her a tune. Um, Lucinda is at the office. Holden comes in. James comes in. She wants... She wants Holden at the stockholders meeting. Mm -hmm. um, and nobody else does. <laughs> They're <laughs> fighting her on it. But she's being smart. Mm -hmm. That's why I like Lucinda. She makes up her own mind and she, she doesn't. That's why I'm like, I don't know what she's doing with James. I'm like, is she just fully not trusting him, but she wants to trust him? I, I really don't. I don't know yeah. what's going to happen with all this. But all of this feels like it's building up to, even though James just got back, I must feel like it's building up to his demise again. <laughs> because That's what I think, too. Yeah, because I want... I, right? I, uh, I don't want to do my book, but uh, I think he, I don't think he stays on that long. I was going to say, is he back for a short stint this time? Because yeah. it, ain't going, oh. it ain't looking good for him. Well, then also, during the 80s, he was doing the show Loving. Um, so, mm. I wonder, so, like, he kind of he plays Dane on Loving. So I'm okay. wondering if, like, uh, I know he played it, I'm trying to think if he played it before his stint on uh, As the World Turns, his second stint on As the World Turns, or after. I know he played it after because I remember watching some Loving from 1990 and he was in it. We'll have um, to look it up. Yeah, he must, He I think he, I think he was on there before his stint because I know Loving from 83, so he would have been on, he could have been on there like. Okay. After. Yeah. Um, like Dusty says Meg gets emotional and he asks Sage to a party. So that's when I wrote her name, but I didn't go back to my other note. <laughs> um, Lily comes and he goes to see her, and Meg's like, See, because <laughs> she's, like, she's trying to like talk shit about Lily, and like Dusty will do anything for Lily. I mean, they're just friends, you know. Yeah. I don't know. 
Um, Meg says Lily is up to her old tricks. <laughs> I like this rival. And yeah. I hope it gets worse for both of them. <laughs> um, because it makes them interesting, you know, like it makes both uh -huh. of them interesting, Lily and her going at it. Because if they're, you know, if they got along, it'd be, which they do later, and it kind of was boring, you know, in the later years. But yeah, I was, they should have always kept them rivals. Why they got along? Because they're so, because they're I'm such a bad in the 80s. I mean, of I'm course, sure. both and everything like that, but Meg I was gonna say, pro probably once. Once kids came along and, and yeah. stuff, and like maybe Holden was injured at some point and almost died, and maybe they bonded, you know, because they're the, the, you know, they love, it. that's probably what I'm thinking, you know, that's when everybody usually comes together and then they're just like, they respect each other in a way. Mm -mm. But for now, this is some good shit. I like it. it. <laughs> um, Emily wants $5,000 from her trust fund, and I guess Tom is in control of the trust fund. Yeah. And um, I don't understand. So her mom is Susan. So what's the trust fund from? Her dad? Did her dad die? Her dad, because remember, Emily's a steward. I don't think Susan's a steward. I think Susan's a steward by marriage. But oh. Emily's a I'm forgetting who her father is, um, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. Anyone out there, let us know who the father is. And I'm assuming he died because he, yeah. she has a trust from him. Um, was, Jessica, yeah, oh. he, I know he died because he was married to Kim when he died. That was like John Riley's character, but I don't think he was mm. John Riley at the time of his death. Hmm. We'll investigate. Yeah. Um, but just Jess, Jessica tells Tom that he gave in too easily. That I guess she should have fought a little more for it to not yeah, give her the power. Yeah, because she's going to be in charge of the trust fund after <laughs> when he goes. Thank yep. you. Because I was like, I don't know why she would care, but yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I guess she'll be a little more strict, which will be fun. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. Holden tells Lily about why he and Emily were out. She believes him and not Lucinda. Like, you know, Lucinda was trying to stir it up because she doesn't want Lily and Holden together, which makes mm -hmm. no sense to me. Like, I don't know. I don't get it. Because on one hand, she wants Holden because he's like the good guy to be involved in the company, but he doesn't want him with her daughter. <laughs> and I'm like, I wonder, I wonder if she knows that they're not related. Yeah, I think they she do. Does, though, at this point. Yeah, because they had the the meeting when she was trying to stop it, like stop the secret from coming out. So I, I, I no, no, actually, I think it might be the case of like a rich mother wants her daughter to do better than who she with wants. a rich. Uh, you're right. Yeah, you're probably I right. I, I can I, I can see that because he comes from like farm and whatever. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, that makes sense. I like it. Um. Hal is talking to Margot. Um, he says that she seems relieved that Tom is leaving. Um, he says, you know, Tom will stay if you ask him to. And then I have the, the music that was playing during this. Did you catch the song? It's a Whitney song. Yes. The uh, eyes are beautiful with, um, I think uh -huh. it was Whitney, Whitney and Jermaine Jackson, I believe. Yeah. I love that song. I love it. I wish I, I wish I would like it was just the musical version, but I wanted like the lyrics, and I'm like I gotta listen to my Whitney again. I mean, she's of course in all my music stuff, but I'm I a big Whitney fan. If people didn't, I remember know. Whitney Houston was on. <laughs> well, I remember hearing Whitney Houston was on the show when um, this mm. is the characters who have long gone. Um, Marissa uh, married the prince. Yeah, That's she. Marissa uh, Tommy's character married the prince. What did she Marissa. sing? I forget. I forget what song she sang, but I saw the singing performance. I didn't see that episode, I don't think. Or maybe I did. I might have. I can't remember. But I remember there's a lot of like sporadic episodes like from those years. So like I don't remember what was going on otherwise, but I knew Whitney was there. <laughs> yep. <A> young <laughs> um, I put James wants to warn Emily about something and Susan returns. Da, da, da. But I don't know what I don't know if we find out. And I put the London gang calls Peters and we find out Jocelyn is dead. 
dead. Two people dead in the same episode. What is happening? <laughs> I love it. I want more. Um, so we go to January 29th. This is our last episode of January. And it's only like 20 minutes that we got. <laughs> so we have Brian and Shannon are talking. He tells her off and she hangs up on him. <laughs> <laughs> James makes a dinner date with Susan. Um, I don't know. Were they involved before? Do you know? Or you don't remember? I don't know. <laughs> don't remember. I guess I, he's really just in the thick of everything. Oh, I remember her. I remember no, Susan. I remember Emily mentioning that she got involved with him while when she wasn't in Oakdale. So I'm wondering if like that all happened while Ooh. Susan and Emily were off screen. <coughs> we got to read our books. We got to read our books. <laughs> read that darn book. Um, or we're definitely gonna have to read it because I need to know what happens in February. Damn it! <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Um, Rick asks Emily out. Kim and Bob hope Sabrina will call. I guess she's getting wind that they're around. Like, I don't know if anybody ever got a hold of Sabrina because we're missing random episodes. So I guess she's around. Um, um, and then they, they knew that the people died. Yeah. They reckon that. So I guess we missed whatever. I don't know we what missed we missed. The discovery with of the it was 26, 27, 28, 20. Yeah, so I don't know. We're missing like random stuff. Um, Franny blames herself, I guess, because she's the one that was curious about Sabrina and she got everybody involved, and now people are dying left and right. Yeah, she's killing a lot of uh, cats because of cur her curiosity. <laughs> oh, and I have um, Feynman died too. Is that Howard? Feynman. Somebody said Feynman died. I don't no, know if that's I, I Howard. Don't that. <laughs> we gotta read. I, I don't know. Like we didn't get too much out of this episode, or we did, but we just don't know what's mm -hmm. happening because we missed a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Bob talks. Bob talks to a Mr. Tanner. I don't know who that is. Margot needs time for herself. Tom calls. Um. James and Emily. My gosh, accuse each other of playing games. He promises her the world and he loves her and tells Rick to get lost. <laughs> <laughs> Duncan shows Beatrice the box he found. That little is that the coin? I don't know. Oh um, <laughs> wait, 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 never mind. You know something. Go. I was like, wait, wait. I was like, oh, it's about the coin. I'm like, wait, wait, never mind. We missed February, so I'm sure we'll be shown that. <laughs> 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 and then my last note is Mr. Tanner comes over sees and I put sees Sabrina every day. I'm confused. I don't know what that means. That's all I got. And then a little thing that I, that, that I remember seeing in these episodes was Bob and Kim were just walking around London, you know. Yeah, yeah. They walk right past Sabrina. <laughs> That's so like funny. That sketchbook. <laughs> so I, was, I think I was watching on. Was I watching on my phone? I think I was watching on my phone. So it was hard to like see, you know, because like, it's fuzzy on your tiny phone. I should have just watched them. It's hard to watch everything on TV, though. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, so we need to read our books. Mm -hmm. Read the book. And we'll come back with. Some March episodes, whatever's available, I guess, and hopefully figure out and piece everything together for anyone that's listening to us because they're going to be like up in the air, like we are, like what is going on? Or if there's fans out there, please let us know what happened in February of 1987. Yeah. Specifically, February. We don't care about the rest because there's more to watch. But yeah, February, we February because of sweeps month. I so know. People don't, you know. They don't do sweeps months the way they do on soap opera. Right? Who doesn't record February? That's the most important month. February, no, May, month. November. February, May, November. Record those months, Very everybody. <laughs> and we're and I did make a note that we're missing episodes from January 30th to March 2nd. And it's a total of 22 episodes. That's a lot that we're going to be missing. So our our homework is to read our book 
and then we'll bring more episodes in and hopefully be able to piece everything together. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that's uh, it. That's it. You have anything else you want to talk about before we wrap up? No, I just I, I really like this stuff and I'm really sad that that February is not out there. And it's not I looked in a lot of places online. I was I looked at my people that have stuff and they don't have February. So I guess nobody recorded it. I wonder if there's like any soap opera digest stuff like That's what I was thinking. Well, That's a good idea. Synopses, synopsis, synopsis. I was looking. I was looking for synopsises too from that time. I couldn't find anything, but yeah. I'll try harder. See what we can get. Yeah. All right. So on that downbeat note, <laughs> thank you for watching as the world turns with us. As usual, you can follow us on our socials at Queers and Soaps, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye. Bye.